So this is a recently released collaboration between Chicago-based fashion label Hidden Characters with Hoka. In their very first collab together, they opted to take on this Tour Summit silhouette, which is a hiking-inspired sneaker that's suitable for both on the trails as well as on the streets. So these released on Hoka's website on March 29th, and they retailed for 220 US dollars or $300 here in Canada. And the official colorway for this shoe is Snow White and Black. So personally for me, this is my very first time seeing this Tour Summit silhouette in real life. So I had no idea, had no expectations how it was going to be, how comfortable they were. So I was curious in that sense. And the colorway in itself, it was very interesting to me. It really reminded me of the Air Max 1 The 6, the Toronto exclusive. And either these were pretty limited or they were pretty popular because they sold out pretty fast on the website. So first off, here's a quick look at the packaging. So this comes in a white base cardboard box done in this funky angular style. So we have Hoka branding on the top in this light blue color, along with Hidden Characters branding on the side of the box right here. As far as the shoe goes, so diving right into the details, the upper is constructed out of this premium nubuck, which feels extremely soft and buttery to the touch. Surrounding the bottom edge of the upper, we have this rubberized mud guard, which is done in this off-white color and has this horizontal texture to it all through it. For the eyelets, we have these trail-inspired metallic eyelets, and then as far as the laces go, these come with two different lace options. The standard lace that they come with are these thin rope-style laces in black, but they also come with another black lace, these ones having reflective hits throughout. Beneath this, we have this black-colored nylon tongue, but we have this new book layer on the top of the tongue, along with a woven pull tab through the middle, which features the Hidden Characters Lightning Bolt logo on the left foot and Hoka's logo on the right foot. And then you'll see the top of the tongue features this contrast white colored zigzag stitching. One thing to note is the tongue is also gusseted as well, so it's connected to the body of the shoe, adding some layer of water resistance as well. And then moving on to the insoles, so these come with a very thin ortholite foam insole, much thinner than traditional ortholite insoles that I've seen in the past. It's finished in this blue color on top, and we have Hidden Characters branding pressed onto the heel of the right foot, and Hoka branding pressed onto the heel of the left foot. Towards the lateral heel, we have the Hoka logo pressed onto the mud guard, and then we have this black colored pull tab on the heel of the shoe. So the upper of this sneaker sits atop this extremely chunky foam midsole, and while Hoka didn't specify what exact foam this is, I'm assuming based off of their past silhouettes, this is some sort of EVA foam. So this is heavily textured, almost resembling a car tire, and then turning the shoe over to the bottom, so this shoe utilizes a Vibram Mega Grip outsole, which is colored in a mix of this light blue color and off-white. So the blue areas, these are actually rubber components, and you can see we have a very aggressive traction pattern that runs from heel to toe. However, the white colored portions, this feels much more like just traditional foam, but it still has the aggressive traction pattern as well. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about how these fit, so my foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. Without knowing any better, I got these in a size 10, AKA true to size, and I feel like they fit, but they are a little bit more on the roomy side. So I feel like if you're in between sizes, it might be better off going down to the smaller size, but otherwise just stick true to size, you should be okay if you don't mind a little bit extra room in the toe area. I'd kind of be curious to see how half size down would feel. It might be a little bit too snug for me, especially if you're planning on wearing thicker socks with this shoe, but if in doubt, just go true to size and you should be okay. Moving on to the comfort, so these surprisingly were pretty firm and stiff underfoot. Because of this massive midsole, I kind of expected this to be a little bit more plush, but I guess because this is technically meant to be suitable for hiking, you probably want a shoe that's a bit more supportive, as opposed to a shoe that's overly mushy and soft. So they feel pretty stable, pretty firm underfoot, there's really not too much from a softness standpoint, you don't really feel the midsole compressing. So it depends on your personal definition of what comfortable is. If you're looking for an extremely pillowy, very soft shoe, this is not going to be the sneaker for you. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality I thought was pretty decent. I was a big fan of the nubuck that they use on the upper. This feels like a very nice, very soft, genuine cut of nubuck. And then I was a fan of the other components like these metallic eyelets, and even the rubberized mud guard, which gives you added durability. And in terms of the build and the craftsmanship, my pair was pretty flawless. The stitch job was pristine, no glue stains that I could see, no paint blobs or anything like that. So it really feels like a very well polished product, which is well worth your money.
So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you, and I'll show you guys how these look. If you're looking for a clean, versatile sneaker that has a bit of that trail-inspired look but still very wearable for the streets, this is one that I would highly recommend. Yes, it's not the most comfortable sneaker out there, but I think the main selling point for this shoe is its versatility and its style. This shoe definitely has a ton of both, and now that I've seen these in person, I'm going to keep my eye out on future Hoka releases. So let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this Hidden Characters Hoka collaboration on this tour summit. What are your thoughts on this colorway? Is it too plain for you? Do you like this simple look? Leave your thoughts down below. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on x at sean.go spelt out, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully it helped you in some way, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.